Wasn't that absolutely beautiful and moving? That was just absolutely wonderful. Well done, Joan, Carl, and the New Zealand Youth Orchestra. Congratulations, what a wonderful performance. And they've just come and joined me now, um, here in the little seats, the hot seats. Welcome, Carl, welcome, Joan, amazing. You know, I wanna say to you both, um, it's such an honor to have you here this evening. Um, from my humble background, I would never have dreamt to be sitting so close to so many talented people. So thank you. Thank you very much. What a wonderful night. I've got a couple of questions I'm going to ask you both, if you don't mind. Carl, I'm going to start with you. I understand that you were very keen to be part of this kindness premiere, so I'm wondering why. What about it attracted you to here? When uh, Simon first mentioned it to me, I immediately said yes, I didn't have to think about it. One of the many reasons was that, uh, as most people who are watching this, uh, this broadcast will know, that last year I did uh, piano concerts at just about every Ryman village. And uh, of course, so many of the Ryman villages have atriums just like this, you know, and they're absolutely beautiful. And so, so many times I played in them, and I said to my wife, one of these days, I'm going to play in one of these atriums with some lovely strings because these are just tailor-made for a beautiful string orchestra. So this is a real highlight, actually being able to do that. And of course, with the lovely Joan as well. That's well, icing on the cake. And, and it's, it's an absolute highlight to have you here in, in the Rita Angus atrium. Thank you. Now, Joan, you know, I think that there are a few friends and colleagues that uh, all the way up in Ottawa at Evelyn Page, who are probably at this very moment bursting with pride. I know that as an adopted Rita Angus employee, Lynn, um, <laughs> we were all just so amazed by that performance. Is there anything you'd like to say to those people out there? Thank you very much. Um, hi, Oriwa family, friends, and fantastic Evelyn Page Retirement Village team and to my very wonderful and superb village manager, hi, Lynn Charlton. <laughs> hi, everyone, love you all. Thank you. I'm sure they all love you too. I'm sure they do. Now, what everyone may not know is that there is actually a very, very special story behind why you chose Paul Karikariana. So tell me about that. Why was it Paul Karikariana? Actually, I didn't know that song at first, but when I went to Melbourne, that's the time that, when they asked me to sing that song, that's the time that I learned the song. And of course, it's different language, so <laughs> it takes me time to um, memorize the lyrics. And I thought it's just in there, but when I came back to my own um, Evelyn Page Retirement Village, I used to sing to all my residents because I just love singing with them because they really love music. And then after that, when I sing in front of the residents, one of the residents cried, and he was really, really crying like I can't really draw his face. He was really crying. After that, I worked through different floors, rest home, hospital, and special care. What really amazed me is those residents with um, dementia and Alzheimer's. It's really amazing that they memorize every single word of that song. And then it seems like I am taking them back to their younger years. And they used to narrate like, uh, you know that song my mom used to teach me that song when I was four years old. And can you imagine how old they are now? <laughs> so yeah, when I sing that song, I see the spirit in them, a lively spirit, the face, the facial experience, uh, expression, and there is a very powerful and meaningful, although I, I can't really fathom, I can't express, but only them can express through their uh, body language, your verbal expressions. So it means a lot to them. So what means a lot to my residents means a lot to me as well. So every time I hear that song, I sing that song, it reminds me of my residence. Wow. I'm sure, I'm sure every single one of you will agree that after watching the performance tonight, Joan, I, I honestly believe every word that you have said. What an absolute gift you have. What an honor it is to be sitting along stage you, the, you know, next to you this evening. Um, and it was just, you know, for you folks that aren't here live, she 
said that she sings and she embodies the spirit of it. The magic that came into this room when she was singing was electric. So congratulations to you. Well done, Joan. Thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have um, another treat in store for you. When they're gonna find their place, I won't hurry them along. Carl, Joan, and the Youth Orchestra um, have prepared one more number before we head into what is the main event of this evening. Um, they've been practicing it a, a wee bit, you could say, and I would have to say that it's almost become a Ryman anthem, if I can call it such a thing. So over to you, Carl, Joan, and the New Zealand Youth Orchestra again. another stellar performance by you all again. Wonderful, wonderful. 